Today I am reviewing the Bissell Crosswave. I just got this. It was about a hundred and ninety dollars on Prime Day. This is a vacuum mop combination. It is very easy to assemble. I just had to put the handle on and it came with some accessories in this kit. It came with extra roller brushes and it came with some cleaning solution. So how it works is you need to hold the trigger in to dispense the solution and the light turns on letting you know, but the light doesn't really do much other than let me know that I'm dispensing solution. Then when you let go of the trigger, you are basically suctioning the water from the tile. Now this is porcelain floors. So I'm going over it a few times and I'm going to see, I recently had my floors professionally cleaned. So let's take a look, but that was like a couple of weeks ago. So I mean, it looks pretty clean. So that's the good news. Now let's try it with some ketchup. I would never normally mop this much. Sorry, I have to keep my little Jack Russell away or she'll clean the ketchup. So I'm a little hesitant to do this. I don't want to mess up the, the mop. All right, so it looks like with just a couple of passes, it does clean up that mess, which is the good news. And here you can see um, the ketchup is kind of in there. This is extremely difficult to take off, but you're supposed to take this off every time. And you can see the ketchup and there's lots of pet hair. Because again, this is a vacuum and mop. So I'm gonna need to clean this probably before you know using it again. But this is extremely difficult to put back on. I put a new one in because I'm gonna try this on carpet. This works on area rugs as well, which is why I purchased it. But I have to say it is really hard to take this on and off and clean all of the components. So for that is a major downside, it's ridiculous. I, I can't recommend this based on the difficulty that I'm experiencing here. And my husband tried as well and he also had a hard time. So it's not just a me issue. So that's one of the major downsides. This took me a really long time to take off and on and take a look at that. So it leaks. Every single time I've used this, it leaks. And so that's a really big downside. And also it leaves streaks as well. So that's another huge downside. So now I'm trying this on vinyl flooring with the multi-surface solution from Bissell. And yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's not gonna leave the floor super dry, but that's okay. I don't mind it drying naturally. I just don't want leaking and I don't want streaks left behind. And, that, and this machine does that. So it's also kind of clunky as well. I do like that it's cordless, but it is heavy and a little bit cumbersome to, to work. So now I'm gonna try it on an area rug. One of the main reasons I got this as opposed to some of the other brands was that you could use it. So you just switch the setting to area rug and I'm dispensing the solution, but look how hard I'm pushing. Like it's a lot of effort. So definitely a major downside. My Dyson vacuum cleaner that I have is not this much work. I know it's not mopping, but I want, have to wonder if some of the other brands are this difficult to push. And the other brands were a lot more money, like the Tinco and the Submarine from Dyson are a lot more money. So that's another reason. But look here behind, we've got, you know, leakage. And so now I'm here, um, it has a clean water and a dirty water. So from this little mopping that I did, um, I got some dirty water. So obviously it's cleaning. So this is a positive. And then it also kind of collects the hair, but I'm responsible for like getting all this out with a paper towel and throwing it in the trash because I'm not going to put this down the drain. So again, um, I'm not a fan. I really wish I would have known how the other brands work, but I have to give this kind of like a five out of 10. Difficult to maneuver, difficult to clean and leave streaks and leaks. So I'm going to say no on this product.